tutorial we will learn how to solve height and distance problems using trigonometry so we know that we have two concepts which is angle of elevation and angle of depression so what are they um, suppose there is a person who is sitting on the top of a tower and he looks at a box so when he, he looks down the angle he forms with with the box is angle of depression and the angle which box forms with the person on the, which is who is in the on the top is angle of elevation so whenever angle is formed from ground to to the height then the angle is known as angle of elevation and whenever someone is at the height and the person or someone looks down then the angle formed is called angle of depression so you have always you should always remember these two terms so once you know that uh, it will be very easy to solve the height and distance problems so let's say we have a question in which we have a person who is sitting on the top of a tower and uh, there is a cat or some kind of animal and this person looks at it so the angle formed is known as angle of depression which is given 30 degrees and now we also have the height which is 180 meters from the ground so we have to find the distance between this cat or any animal and let, suppose it's x so we have to calculate x so we know that we have perpendicular base perpendicular hypotenuse hypotenuse base and sine cos 10 so we since we know the perpendicular and we have to find the base we will be using p by b so p by b equals to 10 and the angle is 30 why because these two angles will be same so this also becomes 30 degree so 10 30 so p's value is 180 b is x 10 30 is 1 by root 3 so x becomes 180 into root 3 meters which is the required value so we had to find value of x or the distance between the tower and this animal so this happens to be 180 and root 3 meters so this is how we solve the problems of distance and height let's take another example suppose there is a person who looks on the top of a building and the angle of elevation he forms with the building is 60 degrees and the distance between the tower and the person is 100 meters so we have to find the height of the tower so we know that perpendicular base perpendicular hypotenuse hypotenuse base SCT so we have to find the value of perpendicular so over here we have perpendicular which is x base is 100 10 60 is root 3 uh, so x equals to root 300 or 100 root 3 which is more clear meters so the value of 
or the height of the tower is 100 and root 3 meters. So this is very simple when you know this perpendicular base perpendicular hypotenuse hypotenuse base sine cos 10. So why did we use perpendicular upon base because we we wanted to calculate the value of x which is the perpendicular over here and we already know the value of base since tan theta equals to perpendicular upon base we had tan then 60 degree was given which is the angle of elevation so value of uh, 60 is uh, under root 3 and uh, x is the unknown 100 is the given distance between the tower and the uh, point where the person is standing so the distance between them is 100 meters so 100 came here so x equals to 100 under root 3 so this is the height of the tower let's take a fairly complex problem as well suppose there's a person who is sitting on the bank of a, of a river and he looks at the tree which is there on the other side of the river the angle which which that person forms with the uh, with the tree is 60 degrees and when he moves far from the tree the angle which he forms then is 30 degrees Suppose this d distance is 100 meters. So we have to find the width of the river and also the height of the tree. Suppose it's x and this is y. So we will write this again because this will really help us. So we have to find the value of y and x. So b by b equals to tangent theta and we have b equals to y and b is our x equals to tan theta is 60 degrees so y equals to x theta 3 because x value uh, tangent 60s value is theta and we are cross multiplying it so y equals to x theta we have to form another equation which is p by b upon b equals to tangent theta y remains same base is now 100 plus x tangent theta is tangent 30 so y equals to 100 plus x upon root 3 so if we will equate these two then 100 plus x upon root 3 equals to x and root 3 100 x 100 plus x equals to x into 3 or 3x 3 100 equals to 2x x equals to 5 0 so this value or the width of the river is 50 meters and if you want to find the height of the tree then we just have to put the values so y upon 5 0 equals to under root 3 y equals to 50 under root 3 meters so this is the height of the tree so we calculated two things first is the width of the river and second is the height of the tree thank you for watching the tutorial please don't forget to click on the subscribe button for receiving more updates from being skilled